Hey, what did you think about this film? Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's raining outside and I'm in a farm so I really hope the noise from outside doesn't get picked up here but anyway hey guys I'm Anurag and you're watching the Anurag show how are you guys I hope you all are safe in quarantine and today I will be reviewing a new Netflix movie called the half of it so first let me give a, a brief summary about this film so basically it's about this Chinese American girl called Ellie Chu who lives in a remote American town and she feels like a fish out of water and one day this awkward kind of jock asks her to help him write a love letter to a girl that he likes but the thing is Ellie also has a crush on this girl so she's basically writing love letters to her in the name of this uh, jock this guy uh, his name is Paul by the way and the girl that she's writing to is called Esther and then you know everything kind of gets complicated so basically this film is using the trope of mistaken identity or rather a deliberate case of misidentification uh, which is uh, which is a trope that we have seen in many many movies however the treatment of this old trope is very refreshing and new fun fact this whole trope is inspired by this old play called Cyrano de Bergerac which has inspired many other films as well. I was captivated by this film from the very first opening sequence, which is an animated sequence. It is done so well and I was instantly hooked. The main character, Ellie Chu, is very relatable. I, I just watched this interview with the, the writer-director of this film, Alice Wu, where she says that Ellie is a protagonist who does not realize that she's the main character. Like, she sees herself as a background character as a supporting character and she and her dad are someone who in other films other mainstream films would be considered as extras as background characters so that was very interesting for me to know Paul as the awkward jock is very cute and lovable dare I say I'm so glad that he's not the a stereotypical jock you know who is like arrogant and confident and you know uh, chasing girls I mean he does chase a girl but like you know he's not a playboy he's not arrogant so I, that was very refreshing to see even Astra she is not just some you know pretty popular girl that everybody loves we actually get insight into her character we actually get to know her thoughts and her family background and stuff so it was very very refreshing to see all that all the main three characters have depth and distinct personalities which makes them very interesting and relatable Alice who actually strays away from stereotypes and she subverts certain tropes and uh, you know cliche things used in most films this movie is just so well made this film is about a friendship about family about love about you know immigration problems and you know all this high school experiences there is even religion dreams ambitions philosophy and the film just handles all the subjects so so well it is not try too hard to be something it is not you know it's just so raw and real like there's no pretense about it you know it is so grounded and there's like a certain level of sophistication to this film it is just so wholesome and endearing and and intelligent so like this film uh, is made for teens it's about teens but it can also be watched by an adult without thinking that it's a children's movie it's not I was surprised by a Bollywood cameo yes there is a scene where they show a small clip of a Bollywood film and I think all the Indians are going to love it I loved it I was shook it was such a treat the movie was perfectly cast I loved all the performances and especially the main actress uh, Leah Lewis who plays Ellie Chu 
amazing. I think I, I may have a crush on her. I mean, her voice is so good. I, I just, I'm in love with her voice and also obviously her acting. It was phenomenal. Okay, I think I'm going to stop gushing about this film now. Um, I loved this film. I think everyone should watch it, adults and teens alike. Especially LGBT teens who are growing up and who are, you know, just discovering their sexuality. I highly recommend this film to everyone. And I think that's it for today. Um, if you have watched this film, uh, comment down below what you thought about it. And if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay beautiful. Bye!